Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Real Stories from the Grave, a kind of Silent Hill inspired horror game series. Specifically, we're playing Volume 1 and 2, and the first game in the series is about transporting a body. We have a very slow, methodical walk. It's almost like there's another set of steps behind me. Oh, look, we're carrying it, actually. Right now. Interesting. Surprised no one else has seen me doing this, calling me out. <laughs> Put you in the trunk. All right, let's get in the car. Let's drive. That was a very quick trip. I wish trips went like that all the time. Hello, silhouette of a man. I need to, uh, get some gas. Hey dude, are you okay? You look so pale. And talk about yourself, buddy. Open fuel lid. I was worried something scary was going to happen while I'm refueling this, but no, it's fine. You don't have to look down when you're pumping it, you know, you can just kind of like... squeeze the nozzle and... you know, look up, look around. No blind spots. Very important, depending where you are. But it's cool. It's more of a psychological horror game than a... spooky one. Okay, we are all good. I will be going now. I think. We need to pay you. There you go. Be careful out there. Let's leave. I wonder if we're going to drive to, like, a lake. No, just the woods. Now begins a long walk. Nice out. Surprised the spirit of guilt isn't chasing me. It's usually a thing with this type of situation. Oh, yeah, no. We we went to a lake. Put body and boat. All right, let's leave. I do I do like the uh the slowness. Like I said it's very methodical. Um White House? Is this a lake or is this the coast? Kind of feel like a firefly right now.
Don't know where I'm going, but I'm just going towards the light. I think I see another dock here. Hey, stop moving. Smack. Pick up the body. Yep, this is a body. No living person here. It's a very specific place to take someone. Usually they would just dump them in the water. Oh, they went limp. Okay, now it's officially a body. Now there's no debate about it. Nope, never mind. They're still wiggling. The moans haunt me. As I go up the stairs of the lighthouse, all I can think is why. Why did I do such a thing? Why is there a table and chair conveniently blocking everything here? Where was my goal? Did I murder someone? Or are they perhaps like a Frankenstein zombie? Why indeed. Notice they have color, nothing else does. It's artsy. Perhaps they're the only thing that mattered in my life. It was all my fault. Perhaps this whole thing is not really existing. This is just a trip through my mind. I accepted this job at the lighthouse. I can stay alone here. I miss them. Every year has passed. Edward told me about this doctor. Her name is Christine Willard. I'll try to call her. You was a uh... Okay, still same here. The doctor said she can bring them back. I'm puzzled, but I have no choice. Oh, so it is a Frankenstein thing. Um, no, we're bringing someone to feed them. Never mind. Well, it kind of is, but... Not in the way I thought originally. She did it. I don't know how, but they are alive. There's something wrong with them. Eat my family. And leave her corpses. We have been busy. I can't do this anymore. I won't feed them again, but there's one last thing I need to do. So, we've actually been doing this quite some time if you look at the time gap. And Christine. Oh. It's the doctor. Ropes for us. We all hang together in some ways. Goodbye.
So yes, yeah, so it was it was kind of a Frankenstein story, um, but more of a zombie. What have I done? Angle than like misunderstood, possibly misunderstood monster. So volume two of the series is a date to keep, and I believe like the first one, this one's also about family, most likely in a way that's not gonna have a happy outcome. I have a date to keep. Is that the date I need to keep? There's a monster inside of you. Don't let it out. Well, this game and video apparently is really sponsored by Apple. Ah! You better be on your way now. You have a date to keep. We never made it, did we? What happens if I go in reverse? I cannot go in reverse. Now here's the question. Did the apples tie to something important? Or did we get an accident involving an apple truck? I'm not I'm not even joking on that. Because apples are very symbolic in multiple ways. Also there's lightning flying in the sky, and that's that's pretty symbolic. But in this context I don't know. Huh. You know, it's getting real loud. I, you're right. I would call it home, but we don't really share the same sensibilities now, do we? One, nine. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can lose control. Sometimes I want to. God, this is straight selling hell. One. Nine. Eight. Four. Four. For a second there, I thought you were going to throw me off. Seven. Family? Seven? One. One. Zero. <sighs> hey, everyone. High five. Well, everything crumbles in my life. Rest to report the murder of Karina Scowl, a loving wife to one Daniel Scowl. Not only was this a terrible loss for the family and community as a whole, it also marked the loss of innocence, as her daughter willingly took her own life. Before I grab that gun, and achieve disastrous consequences. Let me see what's going on here. So are you the judging spectators? Yeah, see like how they see that body language? That's a I'm leaning over to kinda of look. The question is, where you did you see it go down or are you representing the media? Groovy. Not really, though. It's more tragic than groovy. The 
One time you shouldn't be happy about getting a shotgun. Do I go to the gun shop? Get more ammo. Someone behind me. Hmm. Huh. One out of fourteen. Well, we know what we're doing. We're doing. Time to item hunt. Oh, this is a real big place. And there's also lightning flying everywhere. More of an arcing, really. I can go up. Nope, no, I can't. No barrier, but I can't go up it. Well, if I don't get them all my first run, I'll just play a game and game afterwards. Ugh. Get out of my head. What's the plan? War. Die. You couldn't bury them. You couldn't protect them. My God, you couldn't bury them. You're weak. So what are you planning on doing in there? Okay. Here we go. That is number double. I'm always worried I'm gonna like overlook something because it's gonna blend into the ground. And then someone in the video is gonna like watch and be like, hey man, we missed that. It's gonna be like glaringly obvious. Weird. Going to work as per usual. I guess you got nothing better else to do. I guess you'd like to believe that. Embrace. If I do that, I might trigger something, so. Let's not do that just yet. The format might be embracing something triggers a series of events. I'm not sure. Then you gotta like find all of them around the town. It's like some kind of abandoned building. I think a pond would. Yep. Looks like I need to pond some of this stuff. Okay, so I went and checked around. Um, this is actually a linear game. That everything else led to a dead end. So let's go and brace our work. So we murdered the family and just went right to work. Oh god, it's falling down. Hello everyone. I am here to do the uh the work why are you people gossiping about me? Do the work things. Don't gossiping about me. Hey, I see that. Get out of there. Hmm. Silent Hill locks. Got some good security. Loop around from the outer side. Is that a shotgun? I don't seem to have one. Um. But maybe it'll be in. Oh, hello there. Zoink. And then we up to 4 out of 14. 
Maybe I have it hidden in my desk. Oh, you guys got a series of boxes in front of my uh, cubicle, I think. Strongest material known to man, cardboard. Hey, fellow co-worker. I think I'm done here. Anything I'm known in here? Hmm. Snack machines. Cross tables. Get myself some water. What are you doing, buddy? Sure, just ignore me. I know I'm not very popular to this office. Locked. Locked. Socially locked. Non-existent. Locked. Open. Did you, uh, want to see me, boss? Well, I've been just looking for pawns. You want to see me, boss? Okay. This one my office? I, mean, I can't really tell. Oh, hey! Eagle Eye. You guys got a very important meeting here, I see. Don't mind me, just interrupting. Oh god, are you firing me? Eviction notice? Sound of the clock stopped. Locked. Everyone's gone. But, it also means pawn. Six of oh, fourteen. Congratulations, Shinji. Or maybe the opposite. You are the only human I have seen. Why? I understand you're hungry for more work. Hungry for recognition. But unfortunately, you're going to have to starve. At least you can all do that together. Flashlight. Shotgun. And I have health? Interesting how I can only use one or the other. It's Doom! It's Doom 3 all over again. Boss. Sob. It's, it's on Ironica Doom 3. A painting. Oh. Uh. Yeah, they take more than one hit. Dear God. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Two shots. These some durable co workers. Pretty vulnerable. Any random screaming things around here? Come on, behind me, huh? 
That can't be tolerated. Ooh, that's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of them in there. You know, I'm surprised that one isn't in here. Hey, a pawn. Secret. Locked. Locked. Huh. One shot. And you just gotta right land in the right place. Don't mind if I do. That's the key. Go for close quarters. You basically gain a profit on every kill. Unless you're like missing shots everywhere. And I don't want to go into the uh the um meeting room. Because hey, pawn. Because could be a bunch of them in there. Kinda wanna clear out my area first. Get a smooth safe loop unless they don't unless they respawn then we're never safe um so now i know i always have something to my back in a way hmm surprising how many keys do i have oh. uh. Check. Well, eight pawns. Okay. Let's go from this direction. We gotta check out the big room. We have 68 health. Could get testy in there still. Yep. More shots than usual. I guess because you were far, I guess there is a uh, heavily scaling shotgun damage. Well, there goes those two shells. Yeah, that's what I thought. This whole place is a death trap. But I need pawns, I need another key. Can always use more ammo. Oh, these stupid cardboard boxes. I'm not gonna grab that key yet. Could initiate like a spawning of a bunch of things. Gonna loop around. Check my corners. There we go. That's what I want. Whew. Can't shoot or use a flashlight at the same time because we don't have duct tape. Nor can we just tuck this flashlight under our pocket. Get some ammo. Alright, I don't think I saw any pawns in here. Um, we're gonna get that key. And hopefully get out of here safely. So I open that door ahead of time. So I can bolt out. Keys are... Things unlocked there. <laughs> Nothing. Oh! There's ammo within the pots. 
So there's plenty of ammo. I'm gonna palm some of the stuff. How many we got? Nine out fourteen. Okay. Oh, med kit. I take it we're gonna encounter more things. I won't go back. Up or down, up or down. Number one bites the dust. Man, I'm just I'm just so getting those doom flashbacks. Shotgun. Woo! Nice shot. Some long stairs. Upon me. You guys got a nice lineup coming up the stairs where your head's like perfectly aligned. We're good. Keep those eyes open. Pawn. Eleven now fourteen. So we just I'm assuming massacred the work place. Hence this literal sea of blood. No shotgun zone. This makes me think of, uh, this is gonna be an obscure reference that has nothing to do with this. But Michael Jackson Moonwalker, the Sega Genesis game, it had specific, like, cave entrances. Because the whole goal of that, you were supposed to find, you know, like, um, save all the kids. And some of them had a, like, it showed, like, MJ's shoes and had, like, a cross outside like this. It just made me think of that. Although in that game, if you saw that sign, you're supposed to specifically dance and not listen to the sign. But yeah. Boss fight, considering that there's health and ammo. What the? Are you gonna spawn dudes? Don't mind if I do. Oh crap. Okay, so you can shoot it. I was trying to debate on that. Shoot it when it charges you. Ugh. Where'd you go? Can I only shoot you when you're charging? I can't really tell. Oh, 
Oh, it's a separate thing. I need to stop it loading. Take a lot more damage, I think. Can't tell what's placebo. I know. I think he did take more damage when I got close. I should maybe be a little careful about that. I keep timing my reloads wrong. I'm getting really tired of that screen. Need some ammo. I think this is it. Knock it on Heavy's door. Still got my shotgun. Not sure if that's a good thing. Yoink. Daddy's coming home. Thirteen now, fourteen. Hear a beautiful song. Can I go on these porches? I can. Hmm. Could be a pawn on one of these porches. It sounds kind of familiar. Right? What is she making today? Eggs and cheese again. <laughs> can you feel your stomach just drop? Let's not make assumptions. Let's go ask. Don't forget to bring your little friend with you. Yes, let's go and ask them with a shotgun. It's 14 out of 14. Embrace. Every time we see that word, hey, cute dog photo. Something big happens. We embrace the shotgun. We embraced work. Now we embrace our family. Perhaps we're just embracing death. Hmm. It is eggs again. And an apple. Welcome home, honey. Yes. Welcome home, Samuel. A day to keep. So we're a doll too in the end. Though the dolls are... I believe they kind of represent a memory. How we kind of viewed people and uh... It kind of shows that none of that was real. In a sense, like it's all actors, it's dolls. Even in the end, we were another doll, because we were already dead, most likely. Because we did see the car crash at the beginning. But they did say he killed the family. 
What's this emotion of pawns? Just pawns in the game of life? So he killed himself with a shotgun, but the front glass was shattered and there was an accident in the beginning? Oh. So what probably happened, actually, was, um, because you hear the loud bang right after you walk away from the car. So I'm assuming you crashed, tried to kill yourself by crashing, and then you use the shotgun yourself. And then the game starts. So that's it for the volume one and two of Real Stories from the Grave. Both had to do with families, and both were inherently tragedies. The first, the husband was trying to revive the family. Did not go well. And the second, we had a date to keep, in the sense. There was multiple dates to keep. There was the date with work, in the sense you have to show up to work. But also the fact that we, uh... Our date was basically revenge on work. And then there was, I guess, some kind of form of revenge against the family. It looks like it was just a real, a breakdown situation. Then afterwards, see, we sped off, used the shotgun ourselves, and then there's the final date to keep, which is kind of coming to terms to what happened. Like I said, that's why we looked like a doll in the end, like everything else, because it was just a kind of make-believe act, like memory, props acting out of play, per se. So both games were uh, pretty moody. Both a little slow-paced, but both fairly, very decent atmospheric kind of horror games. Fairly, fairly solid productions. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Real Stories from the Grave. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.